videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Hey guys, meet LG Ice Cream Smart. This is a um, successor to the LG Wine Smart that was released uh, last year. It's a flip smartphone from LG, and um, it doesn't seem like LG is going to release this anytime soon in the other countries. LG released LG Wine Smart in South Korea only, and it seems like LG Ice Cream Smart has got to follow the same trail. Uh, Feature-wise, it's got a 3.5 inches of a HVJ IPS display, Snapdragon 400 of quad-core display, 8 gigabytes of storage, a gigabyte of RAM, and one watt speaker that's supposed to be really loud, and a megapixel camera, and a Kakao Top Messenger uh, shortcut key. The packaging isn't exactly anywhere premium since it's uh, it's not exactly an expensive phone. It ranges around. Uh, uh, 300 bucks, so that's not expensive at all. Considering the specs and everything, this definitely is an entry slash mid range phone. It's got a phone in the box, and beneath that is the usual suspects, including the earphones, manuals, micro USB cable, and a travel charger. Along with the earphone, as I said, it has um, this plug right here because the earphone jack is located on the right side of the phone your usual um the straight plug is not gonna fit in there uh, nicely so they came with with the um this plug uh it's now uh it's nowhere to the premium it's a very cheap looking headset but hey it's a 300 bucks phone so um aside from that of course we have a battery this is a 1700 milliamps of battery that's replaceable uh it of course is provided only one of them so if you need an extra you can always get one so this is the Ice Cream Smart. It comes in two different colors, pink and blue. Although they call it blue, it's more likely to a mint uh, color. All right, so here we go. And on the flip side, it's got a, it's got its name over here, Ice Cream Smart engraved on the top of the flip. And there's a little LED over here that only blinks in red, but it does its job. And um, this is a glossy piece of plastic. And the flip over here, you can put your, you can hang your strap if you want to. There's an earphone jack. Ah, there's an earphone jack, and um, that's the hinge and the volume rocker, micro USB cable, uh, micro USB port, along with other neat features, including the 8 megapixel camera on the back, uh, speaker, the carrier logo, LG logo, and the battery cover. Of course, is detachable. You can open it up and install the battery. And here comes the, um, the 1700 milliamp battery with the micro SD card slot over here. And underneath that is a micro SIM card slot so you can install your SIM card. It's an LT, uh, it's an LT model, so um, it works with any other carriers in the world. You can flip open the phone and um, here we go. This has a 3.5 inches of a HVG display, LG logo receiver, and the front facing camera along with the proximity sensor. Back home and the menu key, they actually put it in a hunger over here. That's um, menu key right there. The message key, camera, the Kakoto messenger key. You can replace this with the other keys and the phone book key. Let's power it on. While we do that, there is a little uh, five-way navigation key over here. That's a little neat. Touch over here is uh, is glowing in blue. Um, it's got an OK key, talk end, and a clear key. With the ten keys over here, the previous Wine Smart didn't exactly come with the T9 support. Um, so we'll see if this one does. So this basically is a Wine Smart uh, with the younger uh, taste all over it. So this definitely is not a smallest phone you'll find around the market. This is as big as the iPhone 5. Uh, while it's closed and when it's open, it definitely is a whole lot bigger than the iPhone 5. So um, if you're a fan of a flip phone or if you want to restrict your users, this is not exactly the most convenient phone in the world. Um, this is also touchscreen and accessible with the five-way navigation key at the same time. So you can tap on your OK key or you can simply touch that like you would do on any other smartphones. And um, you can type with your keypad. And we'll, you'll have to go through basic setup. And there's an easy mode, so if you want to use it like a really like a classic cell phone, a uh, classic flip phone, you can do that too. Or there is a more um, modern kind of launcher that you can scroll through, or you can use your navigation key. Uh, Android wise, it's a typical Android phone with the mid range specs, Snapdragon 400, and the HVG resolution, and a gigabyte of RAM. Software wise, it comes with the Android 4.4.2. That's Android KitKat for you, and they have declared 
that um, there won't be any further updates to it. There will be minor bug fixes, but there won't be a major Android updates like the Lollipop bringing into it. Actually, it's going to really suit into the color with the Lollipop, but um, unfortunately, they're not going to come up with that. They made sure that they won't have that. So you can just punch in your number to dial, or you can tap on this Kakao Talk key to launch an app. And of course, you can replace that with the other uh, apps over here, you can just um, say disable the Kakao Talk key or you can replace it with any other messenger or any other app that you want. Um, if you want WhatsApp or Telegram on it, you can do that too. And they neatly added up a function to keep your apps when the flip is closed over here. App on flip close. You can kill all the apps when you, uh, as you close your flip, uh, it's gonna return to the main launcher and actually the, all the apps are gonna be killed uh, even if you go to the multitasking, or you can make that to make all the apps alive when even when the flip is closed. So if you choose that, after flip is closed and back open, the apps are still going to be there. So on your call, this is a major fixes from the LG Wine Smart that killed all the apps no matter what, and the Kakao Talk button was fixed with the Kakao Talk. So that's a that's an, definitely an improvement. We hope LG brings that to Wine Smart as well. And uh, we'll see how this guy performs on the real life. This is almost identical to the Wine Smart, so we don't expect a whole lot of differences, but we'll do um, use it and get back with the review very soon. So that was LG Ice Cream Smart, their latest uh, lineup to the smartphone arena. Um, it's uh, Flip and Android in the same time. It's a very unique phone. We'll get back with the review very soon. So stay tuned with LG Ice Cream Smart from undercage.com. This was Phil, and we'll see you guys later.